This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment through streaming. Today's video we're going to show you how to use our website and the provided links to sideload Fire TV with XBMC. And here's how you do it. So you start off at TheStreamingAdvisor.com otherwise www.thestreamingadvisor.com and you want to go to the search section this little magnifying glass just ask can I add XBMC to Fire TV and there we are Here. and here's our article the important thing about the article is that it has links to what you need so what you're going to want to do is first of all you need to open up the link for what's called ADB Fire so we're going to click here and you're going to want to open up the link for the XBMC slash Cody APK files. So click there. And this brings you to the downloads page for XBMC. And then you start getting your downloads done. So you click the ARM file. And that starts to download XBMC for you. And also, you're going to download the correct file ADB for your system. They have Windows, Mac, and Linux. Kind of like a cooking show, I've already done this, so I'm going to save us the time it takes to download that and not make you watch that. But you choose your system. It's going to download just like XBMC. Now something that's very helpful to do in this case so that you don't lose files is you want to create a file, a place for it to go. And so I like to create a folder, say, call it whatever you want, Amazon Fire TV. I've already got one, so I'm just going to keep it how it is. It's right here, Fire TV XBMC. and what you're going to do once the Gotham APK or whichever version of XBMC is available when you're watching this video when it's done you want to go to your downloads section I'm using Chrome here the ADB website actually suggests using Chrome or Firefox versus Safari you want to go to your downloads folder and here is where you're going to find what you've downloaded you want to click show in folder go ahead and minimize your browser and you're going to want to drag that XBMC file right out of there onto your desktop you don't want to unzip it because it will not work if you unzip it. I've already got it on there so I'm going to have to click replace. If you haven't done this before that step will not show up. So here it is on my desktop. Next you want to go back you want to go to your downloads and you're going to find the ADB file.
we'll just skip to that section. And you'll find it in the downloads. And what you do in this case is you actually do unzip it. On Windows, you're going to want to right click, extract to. I'm going to go to desktop. created Fire TV XBMC and unzip like I said I've already done this I'm going to open it up in the folder and show you what it looks like you're going to have a folder that looks like this double click and what you open is this little blue guy here. So you want to double click, which is going to open this. And here's a very important step, device or address. This is where you're going to need to have an IP address for your Fire TV. And I'll show you how to get it. You go to the settings in your Fire TV, open settings, and go to about and select network. From here, you use the IP address. This is not a real IP address, but for security reasons, I didn't want to show it on video. You don't use any of these other things, the subnet mask, the DNS, and so on. You type that here. Once you do, you press connect. We've already done so. See how it says connected here? Next, you go to install APK. From here, you're going to look on your desktop. There it is, XBMC 13.2, 7.A, press open, and here it asks you if you're ready to install it. Say yes and you are done. There is a link to the video that will show you where XBMC is on the Fire TV. Initially it's going to be located under a different section than the main XBMC. Like it doesn't have its own logo. What you do is you go to your settings again and it's going to be under applications. You launch it, and there you are. I'm afraid I won't show my Fire TV in action doing these steps because I feel like I should protect my security. I apologize for that. But I hope this video was helpful. And, like I said, there is a link that will show you exactly what XBMC looks like on Fire TV in the description and on the web. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Downey, Streaming Advisor. Happy streaming.